immediate exit by St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner. What's next for the office with thousands of cases still pending? Our Alex Fees is live downtown with who's going to take over the office, at least for now. Good morning, Alex. Michelle O'Reilly, good morning. This all started yesterday before noon with Kim Gardner announcing she is stepping out of her office earlier than expected. It happened on the same day Governor Mike Parson was in town meeting with faith leaders and city officials to discuss possible candidates for replacing the circuit attorney. An interim circuit attorney is taking over. General Counsel Evan Rodriguez, in fact, was sworn in last night. Now, Governor Parson's office tells five on your side these are the goals for day one. Get an accurate count on the number of cases pending. Gardner says it's around 3,000. St. Louis police say 4,000. Get an accurate count of the number of staff members remaining. A five on your side I-team report showed 19 people on staff have attorney listed as their job title. Gardner submitted a resignation to Parson just two hours before she was due in court for the Quo Waranto removal proceeding. Gardner announced she was working with St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell and his office to transition the job over to them. They were downtown, in fact, ready to take over cases immediately yesterday. However, only the governor can appoint an official replacement, a process he's already involved in, interviewing five of 18 people who applied on Tuesday. Parson is expected to interview three of the five on Wednesday and make a decision by Friday. We've met with the chief of police, we've met with the sheriff, we've met with the mayor on multiple times we've done to be able to do that. We've met with the court systems, we've met with the U.S. prosecutor, and we met with our own attorney general's office to see how this is going to unfold. And certainly we, we intend to man the uh, the warrant lines 24-7, so as the police officers are uh, catching violent offenders and need warrants, we'll, be, we'll stand ready to process that information. Interim Circuit Attorney Evan Rodriguez will get assistance from Bailey's office and his deputy judge, Bill Corrigan, until the governor appoints a permanent replacement. Now, coming up in the 630 hour, just how long this process of getting the circuit attorney's office up and running again could take. Live this morning downtown, Alex Fees, five on your side.